Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Noble Collection Harry Potter glasses. And we'll also be taking a look back at the 2007 version so we can compare what's changed. Welcome back to Algomenti and if you're new here, my name is Tony. I make videos about Wizarding World news, merch, and events. So if you're into that sort of thing, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next video. So as we're unboxing this here, we did get our pair from Barnes & Noble because as of right now, the Noble Collection United States website does not have these available for sale yet. So if you're looking for this pair and you are like, how are people getting them? Check Barnes & Noble. I actually went in person as well to find some and I got some. So if you're really wanting to get these new ones, definitely check your local Barnes & Noble. They might not have them on the shelves, um, but they will have them to where an employee can grab them for you. So first off, I wanna show you the nice little new box that it comes in. And it's a leatherette box and it's got plastic, like a plastic film right here as like the clear part. Comparing it to our old box here, we have the uh, 2007 wooden box. It, it's also the same, like it has a little plastic film over the top of it. And we've got like a leatherette cardboardish box here. Each box I think still has some benefits over the other. I do like the look of the interior, the cushioning on this box better. So, you know, to each their own, but let's take these out. So it's covered and secured very nicely. Pull this out and the glasses seem to be coming along with it. So let's remove that, remove that piece of plastic there. In our display case, I would guess this is how it would look. You just push them up a little more. And that's how they would compare in looks from the outside. Now let's go ahead and take these out and compare the actual glasses. The new box is made to kind of resemble the older box in the same way. You do have the same foiling on the edges. It's got the same slant to it as well. They really tried to, you know, replicate it enough to where you're still kind of getting the same thing. And another thing that didn't change from this one was the price. Back in 2007, when you could still buy the originals, they cost $50. So now you're still paying the same thing for this new box, new pair, $50. So it's not a bad deal. Um, compared to the pricing on these now, you'll have to pay $1,000, which is insane. So if you really just want the glasses, get the new ones, 50 bucks, great deal. And you can have your Harry Potter replica glasses. So first I'm gonna show you guys the details of the new glasses and then we'll compare it to the older version. But if you wanna see how the original Noble Collection version compared to the Seville Row version, which Seville Row, the makers of the Harry Potter glasses for the films, if you wanna see that video, I'll leave a link here and I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, for this comparison, and this is for the diehards, I'm gonna be really picky on every single detail that's changed from the originals. Starting with the bridge on the nose. The bridge here is raised up a little higher than the originals, where it seems to be dead center in the frame. And you can see that in this side-by-side -side comparison, where this is a little raised and that's more centered. So not only is the bridge positioning a little higher, but it looks like they are different shapes as well where the right one or the newer one is a little less curved or has less of a harsh u than the older version next we have the rims which are a much darker much bolder black than previously it seems like they're a little bit thicker as well the newer version has these black hockey ends 
while the older version had screen accurate clear ends. The new stamp is black, the old stamp is white, and our next difference is going to be in the hinges, where our older version had the more screen accurate hinges and the flathead screws. Our new version has Phillips screws and a kind of halfway hinge compared to the older one, where on the older one, you don't see this cut in the hinge. On the originals, you see this rounded piece before it goes flat on the arm, whereas on the newer version, it just goes straight into a flat arm along there. And here are the hinges side by side so you guys can see the real difference. So there you have it, the latest edition of Harry Potter's glasses from the Noble Collection compared to the 2007 version. I did see some backlash about the new box, so I'm curious to hear what your opinions are on the new box and which ones you'd rather have. So let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video or you found it useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next Wizarding World news, merch, and events. And I will see you in the next one.